when should you pay for coaching and knowledge and information and when should you get it for free? It's the constant question. You can get lots of free knowledge. You can get lots of free information. You can get free coaching and free tickets to seminars and free conferences and free stuff. But is that as valuable as when you pay for it? It's a little bit counterintuitive, isn't it? You'd think, well, if I can get free coaching, then obviously that would be the best thing. If I could get free tickets to seminars and conferences, then that's smart because I'm not spending money that I don't have to spend. So I'm saving money. Plus I'm getting the benefit of the knowledge. But is it as beneficial? And this is a question that I asked myself for some time. Um, but now I've formed uh, a very strong opinion on this matter to the extent that I now have a, uh, a phrase on my cell phone screensaver, which simply says, pay to get rich, pay to get rich. And what that means is that what I have learned is that on those occasions where I have paid for a program or I have paid for a conference or I've paid for mentorship, I focus, I get things done, I take it seriously, I take action, and ultimately I become rich. Now, when I say the word rich, I don't mean swimming in dollar bills or hundred dollar bills and I'm so wealthy and I'm living in my mansion in the Hollywood Hills and driving whatever. I mean rich in happiness, rich in my body, rich in my health, rich in my finances. Sure. What am I talking about? Well, here's the thing. When I pay a personal trainer in the gym, I show up, I turn up, he pushes me. Whatever sessions I've bought to be coached by him, there's not a chance in hell that I cancel or postpone or don't show up because I'm not feeling it that morning because I've paid the money. I've got skin in the game. So I show up and because I show up, I do the work and because I do the work, I get the physique that I want. When I pay for a program, I value that program more. I digest every last minute of its content and then I take action because I've paid for it. When I have paid for things, my focus increases exponentially and the results that I get from taking action increase exponentially. So I used to be the guy that would um, try to get free tickets everywhere to seminars and conferences. And it wasn't too long ago. It was only about probably even only four years ago. I remember when I was trying to figure out what I was going to do in my entrepreneurial life. And I was deciding that I was going to go down the path of being an entrepreneur and trying to run my own business and build a product and, uh, coach people, but I didn't really know what I was going to coach people on. I was a little bit directionless. And I remember very vividly getting a free ticket to a seminar down in San Diego to go and listen to a guy called Ted McGrath. A uh, young guy lives in San Diego, like a, a motivational coach, teaches people business. And I had interviewed him on one of the first few episodes of what was this podcast, which was originally called Alpha Male Club, the Alpha Male Club podcast. And I remember I interviewed him because I, I'd met him through a mutual friend and, and I thought, oh, I need, I need content. So I'll interview this guy. And at the end of the call, he invited me to go to uh, a conference of his in San Diego, which I was hoping that he would do. I was hoping he would invite me <laughs> and I was hoping that he'd, he'd offer me a free ticket, a complimentary ticket, which is exactly what he did. And I think the tickets may have been 
$497, I think, to attend this conference. It was a two-day conference. Maybe it was a three-day. I can't quite remember. Anyway, at the end of the call, he, he said, oh, you should come to my conference. It's in San Diego. It's on these dates. I'll, I'll leave you a, a complimentary ticket. And I was like, yes, beautiful. I got a complimentary ticket, free ticket, great. So a month later, when the conference came up, I went down to San Diego and I stayed with a friend of mine called Ryder who lives in um, Pacific Beach, about a 20 minute drive from downtown San Diego. And I stayed with him in a spare room and he and I uh, went to this Ted McGraw conference and I went to the Ted McGraw conference and the conference was all about finding your purpose and, and how to sell and how to create a business and how to make money and how to get your head straight and all that kind of stuff. And I remember being really enthusiastic by being at this conference and there were some interesting speakers. And at the end of the, the two or three days, I was like, wow, that was great. It was awesome. It was incredible. I've got so much knowledge. I'm going to go there. and Now I'm going to go and start my business and I'm going to, like, I'm going to focus and we'll do all these amazing things. Right. And I was also feeling great about the fact that I had got the ticket for free and the other let's say 150, 200 people who were attending the conference all had to pay 497. And I'm thinking, yes, I beat the system. I'm so clever. I didn't have to pay. Look at all this knowledge I'm getting. Everyone else had to pay for it and I didn't have to pay for it. Yes, that's, that's amazing. I'm saving money. That's smart. But I'll tell you what happened. About three days after that conference, I was still on a high. I was like, yeah, this is great. This is awesome. And I typed out all the notes and then I printed out the notes and I'm looking at the notes and I'm going, right, I'm going to take action on these notes. And then on day four, day five, day six, day seven, I started to forget and I started to lose interest. And I started to go back into neg negative thoughts and what am I going to do? And I'm not sure what I should do and what business should I start? And all of a sudden, this enthusiasm that I had had right when I was getting this information for free had subsided, had dropped. I ended up not looking at those notes that I took for three years. Three years, I did not return to look at the notes that I took at that conference. And it was only really recently when I thought about this in the last 12 months did I realize why. And the reason was, is because I didn't value the information and the knowledge that I got from that conference because I didn't pay for it. I didn't invest in it. I didn't invest my money. Now I invested my time. It was two or three days and that's an investment. Sure. But I didn't value the content that was given at that conference because I didn't have skin in the game. Now, one of the most difficult things that I ever did, one of the hardest things I ever did was when I decided to invest $25,000 of my hard-earned money into being personally, co uh, personally coached and mentored by a business guy um, called Ty Lopez. Some of you listening here will know who he is. Some of you will not know who he is. Uh, if you don't know who he is, you can go to jameswanick.com forward slash 67 steps. He's a somewhat controversial uh, figure to some because uh, he owns about six or seven very fast cars, a Lamborghini, a Ferrari, he has a big um, mansion in the Beverly Hills, uh, uh, a mansion in Beverly Hills rather. And some people think that he's materialistic and flashy. Uh, I know him and I've known him now for four years and I know him not to be that way. He's a very, very good marketer. He knows how to get people's attention. He, he just genuinely likes driving fast cars. <laughs> but he's not showing off about it. And he's inspired lots and lots of people to read books. And I read a book a day. And he inspired me to read a book a day. And now I teach that. So um, I have nothing but positive things to say uh, about Ty Lopez. So... October of 2013, I had met Ty socially. He invited me up to his home in the Hollywood Hills. He has a second home in the Hollywood Hills. I went up there. He invited me uh, to a paid seminar that he was having, which was going to cost, I think it was $1,497. Like, let's call it $1,500 or just round it up. And I remember thinking, oh, man. I've played basketball with Ty socially. Surely he can just give me a free ticket so I don't have to pay. 
but he didn't. He said, do you want to come? I'm having a two day seminar at my place. It's 1497. Uh, do you want to come? And I was at the time I wasn't, there was no real money coming in. There were no incomings. And $1,497 was a huge amount of money for me at the time. I'm like, man, am I really going to spend this? Am I really going to spend $1,500? And I remember thinking, I really want to learn from Ty. And I just decided I was going to do it. And so I did it and I spent the $1,500 and it hurt. It was, it was like painful for me to do it because I was so used to getting stuff for free. So I paid the money and I turned up to his, to his home and <clears throat> because I paid the $1,500, there was no way that I was going to be late. <laughs> I showed up on time. Uh, I, I took ferocious notes. I listened intently. And then three quarters of the way through the second day, okay, on the second day of this two-day conference, he pitched one-on-one -on -one mentorship. And he said, I'm going to choose, uh, I think it was three of you. I think he said three of you. I'm going to um, take three of you and I'm going to coach you one-on-one -on -one for 18 months, $25,000, uh, who's interested? And I remember sitting there, I, I was so impressed by Ty and what, by what I had learned over those two days. And I remember my hand starting to go up, but mentally I was like, James, keep your arm down, keep your arm down. Do not put your hand up. Do not tell him that you're interested in doing this. But my arm went up. And my heart was beating. I was like, oh my God, am I really going to invest $25,000? Now, to be clear, $25,000 I had was sitting in Australian dollars back in my uh, St. George bank account in Brisbane, Australia. Uh, I had had a property. I'd sold the property. I had a little bit of cash, you know, some cash lying around. But remember, I'm a, I'm a, at this point, I'm in my late 30s. Some of you, you might be listening to this going, well, I don't have $25,000. Well, remember, I've been, I'd had jobs and I'd had a property and so I'd had some money saved, but 30, it was actually 31,000 Australian dollars at the time because of the conversion rate. So 25,000 US was about 31,000 Australian dollars at the time. This was a huge deal for me, right? To have to, to, to decide that I was going to actually invest that amount of money. And I put my arm up and in the next hour or so, I talked to Ty about it and I agreed to do it. And then about, Four or five days later, it came time for me to actually send the money. I'd agreed verbally to do it. Um, and I remember being on my St. George bank account, on my online uh, bank, uh, bank account, and I put in Ty's bank details and I you know, saw that the conversion made it like 31,000 Australian dollars. And I'm like, am I really gonna do this? And my finger was on the mouse for like 10 minutes. I'm just looking at this and I'm like, am I really going to hit send? Am I really going to send this international wire? Am I really going to transfer 31,000 Australian dollars from my Australian bank account over to his Bank of America account in the US? Am I really going to do this? And I remember thinking, well, it's either short-term pain or long-term struggle. And the struggle was that I was trying to figure out how to be an entrepreneur and grow a business but I wasn't doing very well and I was a bit lost and confused and I wanted someone to help me with some direction. And I'm like, this is painful to send this huge amount of money, but what may be more painful is just struggling long time at uh, long term. So it was short term pain or long term, long term struggle. And I went, all right, I'll take the short term pain. And I went click and I sent the money and I'll tell you what happened in the hour after I sent the money, after I started the transaction, it wasn't that I felt in pain. All of a sudden, I felt amazing. I felt powerful. I felt incredible. It wasn't even a conscious decision to go, oh, I sent the money, now I feel amazing. It was like a, this subconscious thing. It was this natural feeling that came across me. It was like, wow, now I'm thinking like a wealthy person. It's kind of counterintuitive, right? You've just coughed up 31 grand and now you're thinking yourself as a, as a uh, a wealthy person, but I did. I felt wealthy because I was like, I've just hired one of the world's top business coaches to coach me. I've just coughed up a huge amount of my life savings and my cash to get that coaching. I felt smart. I felt strong. And I'll tell you then what happened over the next few months. Ty received the money. We scheduled a time for me to go and meet with him once every two weeks for the first few weeks. 
So we went met up, met up in his gym, uh, which was his garage, the, the same garage actually where he filmed the, um, the Lamborghini video, a very famous YouTube video he put out. And he worked with me and we helped get clarity on what I should be doing. And then after that, and then throughout the course of the next few months, um, as I traveled and he traveled, we did the call on a video Skype call and we spoke over, over an internet connection. But guess what? I showed up. I turned up. I listened intently to what he said. I focused. I then took action. And you know why? Because I had invested $31,000 into this program. There was not a chance in hell that I was just going to go, ah, you know what? I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to take this seriously. You know what, Ty? I'm not feeling it this week. Can we postpone it until next week? No way. Because I'd spent that money, because I'd invested, I was there on time every two weeks. Whatever plan we had set forth for me to do for the ensuing two weeks, I, I went and I did it. So I, when I came back to him in two weeks, I said, this is what I've done. And he would review and would go, great, awesome. I was dating a, um, uh, a very beautiful Brazilian woman at the time that this was happening. And I remember her on a Thursday saying to me, James, honey, let's go to Palm Springs for the weekend. Let's go and stay in a nice hotel. We'll go to a spa. We'll get massages and we'll go for a walk. Let's go. Come on, honey. Let's go to Palm Springs for the weekend. And I was looking at this, this, this woman that I was dating and I was imagining this romantic weekend away with her in Palm Springs and, you know, a weekend in, in bed, if you like, and romantic strolls and beautiful dinners. And I thought, man, that would be amazing. That would just be the best weekend ever. That'd be so nice. And I remember thinking to myself, hang on a second. That's a distraction. I've got plans to, to work on my website this weekend. And so I said to her, I said, I'm sorry, sweetie, but I've got to work on my website this weekend. And we didn't go. I worked on my website. I stayed in town. I did the work because I had invested the money. And because if I didn't do it, and if I just went off to Palm Springs, I was basically just throwing my money away. I was basically just throwing the 31000 Australian dollar investment away. But because I invested that money, because I had skin in the game, I focused on what I needed to get done in business. So investing that huge amount of money every step of the way made me focus, made me take action, made me take everything that Ty said seriously, made me really focus on that coaching. Fast forward four years, uh, or fast forward, it's now been through, as we're recording this, three and a half years. I have a, uh, my Swanick Sleep um, business, which uh, with the blue light blocking glasses, which helps people sleep better. Consistently doing six figures a month and planning on getting it to a million dollars a month before the end of the year. Hopefully, probably. Uh, my 30 day no alcohol challenge, which has put thousands of people through a course, helps people reduce or quit alcohol. Um, this podcast, obviously. I mean, I, I, did, I had started a version of this podcast before I had started with Ty, but just keep staying consistent with this and growing this podcast. Uh, coaching. I'm now coaching people. I have my James Swanick in a circle. People pay thousands of dollars to be coached by me now. There are six members that I'm coaching at the moment in my James Swanick in a circle. We've paid thousands of dollars to have me coach them on how to build a business. So you look at those things. Uh, I now speak on stages. I now speak in front of hundreds of people. All of these things have happened because I focused and it was because I invested the money into coaching that made me focus. So that 31,000 Australian dollars that I invested, I've made that back 30 times, 40 times, 50 times. 
I'd have to actually sit down and do the math, but I don't worry about the 25,000 US that I spent three and a bit years ago because it's made me back multiples of that. When I got stuff for free, sure. I felt good in the moment that I was getting the stuff for free, but then I didn't even, I didn't take action because I didn't value it. People are, it's funny, people who, who find out about my 30 day no alcohol challenge, I get people on Instagram or um, sending me um, emails quite often. And uh, there's always some doubters, not so much haters, people kind of like questioning and not really haters, but people who are like skeptical. Uh, I have had a couple of haters uh, over the last couple of years who've been, who abused me for the fact that, um, I charge people to do the 30 day, no alcohol challenge. So the 30 day, no alcohol challenge is a program where you go to 30 day, no alcohol challenge.com. You sign up, you pay uh, a fee to take the challenge. And then every day I give, I send you a video with a little motivational talk to keep you on track. So you don't drink for 30 days. Okay. And people who are dubious or doubtful or haters, if you like, will often send me messages and they always say the same thing. Hey dude, why would I spend money to do your challenge when I can just quit drinking myself? Well, the answer is you can quit drinking yourself. You don't have to spend money. You don't have to invest in the program. You don't have to sign up. You can quit drinking for 30 days yourself, but will you? That's the question. You can quit drinking for 30 days and not sign up to my membership program and not pay the money and not pay the fee, not pay the membership fee and do the 30 day no alcohol challenge for free. And you can go 30 days without drinking. You can do that. But will you? And the answer, sadly, 99% of the time in my experience from what I've seen is that no, you won't do it because there's no skin in the game. Maybe you start off, you go seven days and you don't drink, you go, yes, but then the eighth day comes along and there's a football game on and your friends are down the pub and there's a birthday and you're like, oh, go on, just have one. You go, oh, okay, I'll just have one. And then you drink on day eight or day nine or day 10. And now all of a sudden your 30 day no alcohol challenge is over. But if you had invested in the program and you'd put money and skin in the game, even though, even though people, friends are like encouraging you to have a drink, go and just have one, maybe you don't drink. Maybe you say, I'm okay for now because you've invested the money because you don't want to set fire to your investment. So you can do it for free, but will you? You can go on to Ty Lopez's uh, YouTube channel and just get all of his free content for free. And then you can go and take action on it. And maybe you take action on some of it for sure. But will you really, really focus as much as if you paid to go into one of his programs? You can go onto my YouTube channel, James Swanick, go to my YouTube channel and you can digest all of my content. You can go back and listen to every single episode of the James Swanick Show podcast. You're listening to this right now on the James Swanick Show podcast. You can go back and listen to every episode that I've ever done. 250, 260 of them, I think. We're getting up to, to episode 300, I think. And that's amazing. That'd be great. And that's terrific. You should totally do that. Will it be as valuable? as if you invested money in my James Swanick inner circle, inner circle program? Will it be as valuable if you sign up at jameswanick.com forward slash coaching, sign up, fill out the survey, invest money into the coaching, and then actually be coached by me? The coaching I mean, both of those things are incredibly valuable, but I'll tell you this, the moment that you invest your money in something is the moment that you have extra super 
powers in clarity, in focus, in motivation. Because you have to, otherwise you're just setting fire to your investment. You're setting fire to your money. The actual art of paying for something fuels this clarity, fuels this focus. And we're so not focused today. There's Facebook, there's Instagram, there's the Super Bowl, there's the NFL season, there's your friends trying to get you to go to dancing lessons, there's the party on the beach on the weekend, there's the, the summer trip through Europe, there's the, uh, there's the 21st birthday circuit, there's the friend's wedding, there's all these distractions that are just fighting for your focus. We live in a free world. For most of us, we can do whatever we want to do with our time. We can choose to spend our time with who we want and when we want and how we want. All of these things are vying for your focus. You've got HBO, you've got Netflix, you've got Game of Thrones. You've got Westworld. You've got all these amazing TV shows now. You got the movies, you've got video games, you've got Thanksgiving, family get togethers, you got church. All of these things are competing for your attention. The moment you invest, the moment you invest money, the moment you put money on the table, the moment you put skin in the game is the moment that all of those distractions all of those things that are competing for your attention, like Westworld and Game of Thrones and all of these other things, they stop dropping down the list in your order of priorities. You want to learn how to build a business? Invest in a program that teaches you how to build a business. Put money in the game. Don't get a pirated version. You can get people's programs online for free you can get the the pirated version and have someone share it with you i have people share things with me all the time i don't even ask them for it i've got other entrepreneurs who have bought programs and in conversation i have with them i'm like oh that program sounds great and i say oh i'll send it to you and i go great thanks i don't ask for it but they send it to me for free and you know what most of the time i don't even open it i've probably got twenty thousand dollars worth of business coaching and programs sitting in my inbox somewhere from other entrepreneurial friends who sent me the version of programs that they have bought. And I haven't even opened the damn email. It's not a conscious decision not to open it. It's just, I didn't pay for it. So I don't pay attention to it. I didn't pay for it. I didn't invest in it. So I don't pay attention. I don't value it. So what's the point of me even having it for free if I'm not even going to open the damn thing? Let me tell you something. If I pay $1,000 for that program, I'm opening it and I'm digesting every last piece of content. My screensaver says pay to get rich. When I paid the uh, personal trainer, a guy called David over at the Crunch Gym on Sunset Boulevard uh, late last year, I walked in and I said to the crunch gym, I said, who's your top trainer? They said, David. I walked up to David and I said, David, I want to um, buy like 10 sessions from you. How much does it cost? He told me, gave him, I gave him um, a credit card, he swiped it. And then over the next two and a half months, I showed up every single day that I paid for. And my gains in the gym increased. Started squatting, doing deadlifts, lifting heavier. I did one of those um, body scan tests um, a couple of weeks um, on, uh, sorry, um, about two, a couple of months after I'd started with him. And it was amazing to see how my, my leg muscles had increased in size from the last time I did one of those body scan tests as a result of going and having this, this personal trainer. The personal trainer pushed me 15 or 20% harder than I would have done it myself. And because I'd invested the money, I, fo I turned up on time. I squeezed every last bit of knowledge out of him. He pushed me and I got results. 
Now, you might be asking the question, well, well, when do you pay for things and when don't you pay for things? And you have to ask yourself that question and come up with your own answer. But here's the thing. Keep listening to podcasts. Keep listening to all of this free content. You don't pay to listen to this episode right now. You don't pay to listen to the James Swanick show. You get all of this information and content for free. And that is amazing. And I digest content for free. I type in Jim Rohn on my YouTube um, some mornings a week and listen to Jim Rohn talk, motivational talk. Sometimes I type in Warren Buffett and I'll just listen to Warren Buffett talk, the world's greatest investor. So I'm not saying don't listen to free stuff. I'm not saying pay for everything. Keep listening to free stuff. But know this, the moment that it's time for you to take serious action and go bang right now i'm going to do something will be the moment that you invest in whatever it is you're investing in the moment that you put down money is the moment that you will really focus until that point you can get the free information and some of you will take some action but the moment that you invest money is the moment that you go yes i am in all the way. That's the moment where you don't watch Game of Thrones, where you don't watch Netflix, where you decline the invitation to go to another party and get drunk and whatever. That's the moment that you focus. And when you focus, you get results. Keep digesting free content. Keep getting that knowledge. Keep reading books. Keep doing it. But watch what happens when you invest, when you spend money. You value it more. You value it more. I paid to get rich. It's counterintuitive, right? You pay, you cough up cash. You think, oh no, I should be saving. But guess what? The moment I invested that 25,000 US, the 31,000 Australian dollars, was the moment my life changed. Now money is flowing into my life, whereas before there was no money flowing in. Pay to get rich. All right, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please do send me a tweet at, at James Swanick. Remember to please leave a review. Let me know your thoughts on this. You can follow me on Snapchat at, at James Swanick. Send me a snap and tell me what you thought about this episode. I'm um, also on Insta stories at, at James Swanick. Uh, you can get my free book notes over at jameswanick.com. And if you want to leave me a voice message, um, jameswanick.com is a spot there where you can leave a voice message and maybe I'll play it on the show and answer one of your questions. Thank you for listening to the James Swanick show. I'll catch you on the next one.